Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to be making a video on new fragrances for men that are super, super sexy. Now, some of these are not necessarily 2022 releases, but they are definitely newer to me and my collection. I want to highlight some newer fragrances for you guys. New fragrances that I find super sexy on a man and I cannot wait to get into this list. I have 10 incredibly sexy fragrances for men, and some of them I'm sure you guys have never heard of before, so let's get into the list. I'm gonna start out with this fragrance right here from Arquiste. This fragrance is called The Architects Club. Now, a lot of men may be intimidated to wear this scent because technically it is a vanilla fragrance, but if you are a man watching me right now and you appreciate the note of vanilla, you might must try the Architects Club. Oh my goodness. You wear this on a date. I'm not going to say anything else. It starts off with something a little bit green and it dries down into this beautiful, smooth and very refined vanilla with something a little bit cacao-ish. Like there is a slight chocolatey facet in there. I am telling you guys right now, wear this one on a date. This is for an intimate setting. If you want the girl or the guy to come closer to you, wear the Architects Club. It is going to intoxicate them. Longevity projection is really good on this one. I get about eight hours of really good wear with a nice minimal projection. Wear it on a date and thank me later. Next up, we have Blonde Amber from Clive Christian. Now, if you guys have a little bit of extra coin to spend, I would recommend checking out Blonde Amber. This is absolutely incredible but this is an amber fragrance like you have never really smelled before it's very 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 dimensional there is a lot going on in here but somehow it really works what you have in here is amber tobacco some dried fruits a little bit of like a cacao touch there is some florals in the mid but they're very appealing floral notes like osmanthus which brings like an apricotty fruitiness and it is just incredible, you guys. One of the best amber fragrances that I've tried, and it smells really unique. It's not a predictable amber scent that just smells ambery and spicy and sweet and resinous. This is a very, very unique amber fragrance that I would really recommend to you guys. Wear this on a night out, wear this on a date, wear it for a formal situation. You are going to get so many compliments with this one. Longevity and projection is fantastic. It lasts about eight hours on my skin with a really nice like kind of arm's length projection. Fantastic fragrance. Like I said, if you do have the extra money to spend, I would really recommend checking out Blonde Amber from Clive Christian. It smells intoxicating, like absolutely intoxicating. You do have to like your more sweeter scents, but it's really worth checking out. Next up we have Pasticcio from Sospiro. Now, if you guys follow me, you know how much I go on and on about Vibrato and Basso. Those two fragrances are must-haves in all of your collection. If you're watching me and you follow my recommendations and you trust my taste, get Vibrato and Basso. They are foolproof fragrances that will work on everyone. But the other fragrance that I really, really love on a man, and I am telling you guys right now, this fragrance is flying under the radar, but it is incredible. This is Pasticcio. Now, Pasticcio for me, oh my gosh, is this beautiful, creamy, smooth, woody fragrance. Very, very, very sexy, very smooth, very classy, but very sexy at the same time, because there definitely has a sweet aspect to this scent. There is something sweet in there. There is a lot of sandalwood, some iris, some musk, some amber, some florals in there. But overall, you get this very smooth, classy, refined, woody fragrance with some sweetness. Pasticcio is gonna last around eight hours on the skin with a really good projection. And I noticed with the Suspiro fragrances is that they all last a really long time and they hold on to your clothes really well. I would recommend Pasticcio for a date, for a formal setting, for a classy night out, maybe like a dinner date or something like that. 
it is going to smell incredible so trust me on this one pasticcio from sospiro and something really exciting i am going to have a discount code with sospiro in the coming days i'm going to get you guys a 15 percent off coupon code so make sure that you stay up to date with my channel because i will i'm organizing it right now i see how many people really want to buy the brand and i'm going to organize a 15 percent off discount code you guys you guys i have discovered a new tobacco fragrance that has blown me away for anyone that bought Herod from Parfum de Mali off of my recommendation, you have to check out this scent. It is called Un Air de Apogée from Maison Violet. Now, you guys, wow. This fragrance is absolutely incredible. And if you were after like a new tobacco fragrance, you must check this one out. We actually just added this brand on Sniff, so make sure that you guys check out all of the new brands that we have added to our database. But Uned Apogee, wow. This is a really smooth and airy tobacco fragrance. You have some honey, you have tobacco, you have leather, you have a bit of anise. Wow, a little bit of like an ISO-y super vibe, so it's quite light and airy and transparent. It feels very smooth, very well blended, very sexy, very classy. Like, I definitely see this fragrance on a classy, sexy man. Wear this one on a night out. Wear this one if you're going to like a cigar lounge or a bar. This is incredible. Actually, I got a lot of compliments when I wore this scent and one was from Curly Fragrance, Michelle. She complimented me on this fragrance when I was wearing it. Incredible tobacco scent, you guys. You must check this one out. Un air de Apogée from Violet. I get about eight hours of really good wear with this one and it does project within your arm's length so people can smell you with this. Really recommend it, especially for, like I said, date night, uh, cigar lounge, going out at night. This is incredibly sexy. Next up, we have a fragrance for any of you gentlemen who are looking for a very interesting oud fragrance. This is oud maracuja from Maison Crivelli. Now, this is their newest release, and I smelled this several months ago, and I absolutely loved it. I could not wait for this one to be released because this, this is an incredible release. I do have to say, you must be acquainted with like the scent of oud and also you have to be comfortable wearing a touch of rose. So this is not going to be for every single one of you that are watching me right now. This is going to be for a select few of you that are watching me. This is oud and rose and passion fruit. So it is just an incredible combination. You have the tartness from the passion fruit. You have a touch of rose. And of course you have the beautiful kind of smoky, slightly leathery oud facet. There is also a little bit of saffron, which also brings this kind of leathery touch. This fragrance is beast mode. It's gonna last about eight to 10 hours on your skin with a huge projection. But like I said, try this one. Do not blind buy this one because it's not going to be for everyone. This is going to be, like I said, for all of you that are used to the scent of oud, you're comfortable wearing a touch of rose. For any of you watching that love oud for greatness from Inicio, I would really recommend that you check out oud maracou from Maison Crivelli, not because they smell the same, but I definitely feel if you like Oud for Greatness, you might like Oud Maracujo. Incredible fragrance, beast mode fragrance, very sexy. Wear this one on a night out, wear it with a leather jacket, wear it in the fall and winter, it's going to work wonders. I was just actually reading a review of Oud Maracujo on Sniff from a guy. His name is Christopher. He said, opening is very strong, lasts at least 10 hours on the skin and even more on the clothes and has a strong sial as well. So just a little pro tip for you guys. So next up, we have more of an easy fragrance, more of an appealing fragrance. This is Ombre Cello from Locust. Now for me, this is a very, very wearable amber scent for all of you gentlemen watching. This is not too dark or too heavy or too thick. In fact, this is an amber fragrance that you can actually get away with during the summertime. I love this. So many of you guys would fall in love with this scent, I am sure. This is fresh and quite zingy and ambery, a little bit spicy. 
You have some bergamot in the top. Actually, you have quite a lot of bergamot in the top. You can really feel it. You have some amber, you have some musk, you have some resins in the base. This is freaking fantastic. This is incredibly sexy on a man's skin. And like I said, this is an amber fragrance that is not too heavy so that you have to kind of only wear it during the cooler weather. This is an amber fragrance that will work all year long because of its kind of scent profile. It's not too deep and sweet and heavy. It definitely does have a sweetness, but equally as much freshness has been added to the composition. So I really recommend checking this one out. On my skin, I get about six to eight hours of really good wear with a nice minimal projection. I am positive that so many of you guys would fall in love with Ombricello because it's a very easy, very likable amber scent. Very, very sexy. This is fresh, sweet, spicy, and a little bit resinous. It is absolutely incredible. A 10 out of 10 fragrance that I really recommend to you guys. So next up, we have a fragrance from Musicology, and this scent is called Fly Me to the Oud. Now, this is an oud fragrance, but very, very easy. Very easy to like, very easy to wear. It is not something super animalic. It's not too dark, too ambery, too Middle Eastern. This is a very approachable oud scent that I would really recommend you guys check out. It is fantastic. What you have in here is oud mixed with like a beautiful smooth leathery note. You have a touch of brown sugar and a lot of sandalwood. So for me, actually what I get is mostly leather and sandalwood. You get this beautiful smooth buttery woody scent that smells really classy and really sexy on a man's skin. Myself, I would never wear this scent. I find it to be way too masculine on me, but I do love to smell this on a man. In the air, around a man, this fragrance smells chef's kiss, incredible on the skin. This is another one that I would recommend uh, more in a formal situation, maybe on a date, maybe a night out. I think that it would smell fantastic. Smooth, sexy, buttery, woody, a little bit sweet. This is absolutely incredible. Longevity and projection on this one is fantastic. You get around eight hours of really good wear with a nice arm's length projection. Fly me to the Oud from Musicology. Really recommend this one to you guys. I think that the last three fragrances might be my favorite in this entire list. And you guys really, really have to check these out. So first up, I have a fragrance from a brand called Soul of Makin. This is a newer brand. It's only available in certain places. But when I tried this scent, I almost fell over. And I am not exaggerating, guys. This scent is incredible. This fragrance is called Patrius from Soul of Makin. Now, let me tell you guys, you are going to fall in love with this scent. This is intoxicating. This is sweet and smoky and leathery. Wow, 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 wow. I have no words for this fragrance, you guys. It is absolutely incredible. You have a little bit of raspberry, you have some amber, you have the leather, there is some saffron. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to go over the top, but you guys must check out this fragrance, especially if you're a fan of leather in your fragrances, you must try out Patrius from Soul of McKean. This really blew my mind when I smelled it. And when a man wears this scent, it is intoxicating, like truly, truly an intoxicating fragrance. If you like scents like Tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent, which you guys know that I love, you have to try Patrius from Soul of McKean. Smooth, sweet, slightly fruity, a little bit leathery, a little bit smoky. Wow, a 10 out of 10. I cannot tell you guys enough how much I will be recommending you this fragrance right here. Longevity and projection is incredible when I smelled it on my partner. It lasted on his skin all day long, like 10 hours on the skin with a huge projection. Remember the name Patrius and try this fragrance off of my recommendation. You will not regret it, you guys. Incredible 10 out of 10. Next up, we have a fragrance from a brand called Plume Impression. 
Now, this fragrance right here is my absolute favorite from the brand. I have tried everything. I've tried their entire line. And when I smelled this fragrance, I was blown away. This is called Ketal from Prume Impression. Now, what you're gonna get here is an incredible spicy, sweet, woody, musky fragrance. Wow, wow, wow. You have some pink pepper, you have some patchouli, you have some orris, some cedar, apricot, a little bit of jasmine. This right here is sexy, sexy, sexy. Wear this fragrance on a first date. This is a first date fragrance when you wanna give off a really good impression wear Ketal from Plume Impression. I am telling you guys right now, you really have to try this one. It's sweet, yet spicy, yet woody. And wow, it is truly intoxicating on a man's skin. Amazing fragrance right here, you guys. Longevity and projection is fantastic. It lasts an easy uh, eight hours on the skin with a nice arm's length projection. I am telling you right now, you gotta check this one out. Ketal from Plume Impression. And finally, we have a fragrance from Oman Luxury. And if you guys would take me on a date, this is what I would request you guys to wear right now. This is currently one of my favorite fragrances on a man. It just smells incredible on a man's skin. This fragrance is called Ang Ham. Now, if you guys watched my video with Michelle R, Curly Fragrance, you will know that she had a very visceral reaction to one of the Oman Luxury scents and she fell in love with it. But I'm telling you right now, that fragrance is very, very animalic. This fragrance right here, Angham, is more approachable, more wearable, and a little bit easier for you guys to understand, yet it is still incredibly sexy and unique. Now, what you're gonna get from Angham is a gorgeous take on a leather fragrance. Again, I don't know what's happening with me, but I am falling in love with leather scents that are done in the right way. I told you guys many times, but I don't like leather when it smells like a car. I do not like this type of car, harsh, brash sort of leather fragrance. I like my leathers to be smooth and well blended and mixed with a lot of other notes to kind of tone down that leather sensation. In Angham, oh my gosh. This is leather and apple and saffron. That is what I predominantly get from this fragrance. I get a lot of leather but it is beautifully mixed with apple and saffron. This is super masculine, super, super, super masculine, quite dark and very, very sexy. I would recommend this one on a night out. I would recommend this fragrance on a date. I would recommend it for a formal situation. I would recommend it for the fall and winter. This one is going to work. I. I'm completely in love with this scent. I think it smells incredible. And what I love about this fragrance as well, it has a freshness to it. There is a little bit of a fresh citrusiness on top mixed with that beautiful crisp apple note. Then it has the smoky saffron and then it has that very sexy and masculine leather touch. Now, actually you guys, I was really confused of which one I wanted to add because I have two favorites from Oman Luxury right now on a man's skin. Angham and Zafar. Zafar, it's a little more animalic, just a little bit, just a little bit. It has a little bit of oud, it's a bit more sweet, um, more cocooning, just incredible. But I wanted to recommend you guys Angham since I do feel like it is more appealing for a lot of you guys that are watching me. Check this one out, I am sure that you will love it. Angham from Oman Luxury, a really, really sexy leather fragrance. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video of hearing new fragrances that I find incredibly sexy on a man. These are all newer to my collection, but I have smelled them on a man before, and I think that they are absolutely 10 out of 10 chef's kiss, so definitely check them out. Um, I think that that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my mobile application Sniff. If you wanted to research any of the fragrances that I listed in this video, you can download Sniff on the App Store and Google Play. If you haven't heard of it yet, that's my mobile application. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.